If you watch my top 5 Final Destination movies, you know I'm a huge fan of the Final Destination series. In fact, it's easily amongst, if not my favorite horror series out there. However, if you watch my top 5, you'll also recall my immense dislike towards the fourth entry in the series, THE Final Destination. This movie was not only the first to be in 3D, but it was also supposed to cap off the series. It's actually also called Final Destination 3D and Final Destination 4, but I refer to it as THE. Final Destination because it's the stupidest name you could call it and judging from the movie's quality that's probably the most appropriate choice. The Final Destination released in 2009 and actually turned 10 years old 2 months ago. The Final Destination surprisingly is the highest grossing Final Destination movie despite me not being the only one who thinks this movie was a pile of garbage. I think this movie sold the best because of how many fans the first three draw it in and the fifth entry then surpassed the fourth in terms of success because maybe the fourth scared off all of the fans of the series. But it's unfortunate because I think the fifth is the best in the series. Series. But enough of the introduction, why is THE Final Destination referred to as the worst in the series? And why do I think it's personally the worst horror movie I've ever seen? Well, let's find out. If you're acquainted with the Final Destination series, then you already know the plot of this one. If not, then let's quickly go over the setup of the series. Basically, each movie a disaster occurs, killing either a handful or a large amount of people. However, the main lead has a vision of the event and inadvertently causes a commotion that gets a handful of the would-be victims out of harm's way. However, Death tries to correct itself by killing a group of characters who escape said event in realistic, well, mostly realistic fashion. The idea is brilliant, and it's really hard to screw up. At him. This movie follows the same setup with the only differences from its predecessors of course being the main characters, disaster, and kills. So the basic uh, plot that was done, in my opinion, pretty well of the three movies that came out before this one, there understandably needs to be other qualities that carries this movie on their own. I guess I'll start with the tone. The reason I'm going over the tone first is because most of the problems in this movie are a result of the movie's tone. The first two Final Destination movies were, for the most part, taken seriously. Sure, there was a funny gag here and there, but the movies were trying to be suspenseful for the most part, and uh, I don't know if it was a decision to change the tone or if there were different writers for this one, but this movie doesn't take itself seriously at all. And I'm not upset with that decision, but in, in fact, there were plenty of moments when the other Final Destination movies got out of me too. But that's not the problem. The first three had funny scenes, I'm sorry, but these writers are not funny. Most of the jokes are cliched, and since this movie is full of unfunny jokes, there's no time for suspense or fear. So what are you left with? A unfunny thriller of no real suspense. Wonderful. But hey, the characters make up for that, right? Nope. The characters we are stuck with for an hour and 22 minutes kinda suck. There's the main lead, Nick, who is the most bland main protagonist in the entire series, and that is saying a lot. It's a running joke that all the main characters throughout the Final Destination series are boring. The least boring one is Wendy from Final Destination 3, and she was not that interesting. There's Nick's girlfriend, Lori, who's almost as bland as her boyfriend, and just serves to be a damsel in distress for the climax. There's Hunt, who's the stereotypical comedic jerk who's horny all the time. There's Janet, who is just... there. There's George, who is the only likable guy in the movie, and everyone else gets like 4 minutes of screen time and are just there so the movie uh, can have more kills to make it not only 30 minutes long. Oh, so they, those guys are the villains of the movie, okay. Overall, the characters all suck. Luckily, this is a horror movie, so we don't have to see them for long. So, are the kills cool and bring at least a little enjoyment to this movie? Why am I even asking that? These kills suck. Some of them happen at the speed of light just to serve as cheap jump scares, others are too goofy, and the rest look hilariously fake. That leaves us with the overall effects to talk about. I adore the Final Destination series for making great use of both practical and digital effects to achieve effective kills. So of course this movie screws that up too. The crazy thing about this movie is that if you watch the behind the scenes footage they clearly worked hard and did many stunts to make their effects look real. So what the heck happened here? This movie looks so unconvincing. How does a movie that came out 9 years ago look better than this? And not only did this movie have almost twice the budget of the first, but it has the highest budget in the series with the exception of Final Destination 5. There was no excuse why this movie looked as bad as it did. 
I don't think I have to continue explaining my hate for this movie. I'm pretty sure you already know by now why me and many others dislike it. It basically fails at everything it tried to achieve and in conclusion making it one massive failure. But what about you guys? Have any of you watched The Final Destination? If you have, then let me know if you hate this movie as much as I do. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please like and subscribe, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace, everyone.